Hello everybody, thank you for considering my presentation. My name is Diaz Bilhalat. I am a PhD student and assistant researcher at CRTS. Today I'm going to talk about the exploration of yttrium orthophosphate doped europium luminescent material for down conversion application. Outline my presentation and I'm going to go through it point by point. As you may know, one of the major problems for the efficiency of solar cells is the optical losses and light reflections. The researchers developed some solutions like developing light trapping systems to increase the absorption of light. Or to use another approach by managing light using conversion materials like the down conversion of the spectral uh, uh, solar spectrum part in the UV region I converted to the visible region, the red part here. So, what people are doing is depositing the uh, down conversion layer or down shifting layer on the top of the solar cell. And one of the interesting materials that can be used are nanophosphate dopant with rare earth. And in our case, we are studying. The deposition of yttrium orthophosphate doped European thin films uh, for their easy deposition on solar cells and encapsulation on devices. You see the soldier protocol I used for preparation of my sample. XRD analysis showed that we have a pure tetragonal structure of yttrium orthophosphate for all the cells and the calculation of crystallographic parameters showed that the crystal size is ranging from 8 to 90 nanometers, which is, which, is uh, which shows the nanometric structural nature of prepared samples, and also showed that we can reproduce the same crystallographic parameters, grain size, and uh, strains, etc., uh, by using translucent. Uh, material independently of the substrate nature, whether it is silicon or cool. So, for the luminescence properties, we found that for all samples under a, a new V excitation, uh, all samples exhibit intense orange red emission peaks characteristic of AM of gold. So we are going to focus only on thin films deposited on silicon because of their interesting application for PV. So by comparison of two thin films deposited on, 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 on silicon substrate, one from milky solution, the other one from the, the, the translucent solution, results show that we can have high emission for powdery thin film on silicon compared to the transparent thing. As we can see also that this material, ethereum or to phosphate, the open europium can be a good uh, uh, material for conversion, uh, light conversion from the UV region to visible region, the red orange visible region. And we calculated some spectroscopic parameters using mathematical formula, uh, mainly for the asymmetric ratio and light extraction ratio. We found that for powders, we can have a, a, a higher asymmetric ratio than that of the thin films, which indicates that European ions tend to occupy high symmetry sites in thin films than in powders. Uh, considering the light extraction ratio values, we can see that we can have uh, extract much light from powdery thin films than from uh, transparent. As a conclusion, we can say that the crystalline size correlation with the refractive index of the powdery thin film, which is closer to that of crystalline silicon reduces the total internal reflections and allow to have much better extraction efficiency. So light extracted from the powdery thin film is higher than that extracted from transparent thin film. 
Also, the powdery thin film presents a better crystallinity, higher emission intensity compared to a transparent thin film, although it has a lower symmetry of the crystal field around European ions, according to asymmetric ratio data, which implies that the influence of crystallinity on the luminescence efficiency is predominant compared to the symmetry of the compound around the dopant ion. We can draw as conclusions that the limited light extraction efficiency from the luminescent thin film is still always a major concern. Also, yttrium mortophosphate doped europium can be used as a down converter for PV applications, and the luminescence efficiency of thin film phosphor has never exceeded that of powder. Also, the poor light extraction efficiency of thin film phosphors is resulting from the high difference of the refractive index between the film and the substrate, which leads to light guiding effect. As a further work for increasing the down conversion efficiency of thin films, we can further decrease the difference in refractive index between thin films and substrates or by combining Yttrium orthophosphate doped europium with anti-reflection coatings like silicon nitrides, for example, or by surface texturing of silicon wafers, or either by co-doping uh, with rare earths of the host matrix by introducing ytterbium as a synthesizer, for example. Thank you very much for your attention.